Hey, Realtors, welcome back. Today, we're going to dive into some tools, AI tools, that are going to transform your daily real estate business. In this fast-paced, moving real estate market, staying ahead isn't just about the hustle. That's important, but it's going to be about the tools that you use. And today, what we are going to talk about is what I think are five essential tools every realtor needs to know about. Um, these tools aren't just time savers. They are game changers. They will help you scale your business, keep your clients happy, and boost that productivity. Everybody, my name is Justin Lethby. I'm the E-Professor. And today we are going to talk about five essential tools that are going, five essential AI tools that are going to transform your business. Um, and it's not just ChatGPT, ChatGPT, ChatGPT. So the first one we are going to talk about is your CRM. And a lot of you already have one, right? But in case you're looking, I'm going to tell you right now, one of the best things you can do is looking at tools that actually have some AI powered into it. And I'm not just talking predictive analytics. I am talking about tools that are actually learning from your system. They're learning about your clients and they are starting to help you be a little bit more productive. You have tools like Wise Agent, KV Core, Zoho, which is an outside real estate CRM, but very good for for real estate, as well as Follow Up Boss. These are really good tools that are going to help you stay in the mix in here. They're going to help you by keeping your relationships organized. They're going to help you by managing your leads to track those interactions and automating follow ups. I will also tell you most of these, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Also have essentially an AI chatbot, which these chatbots aren't your grandfather's chatbots. These AI chatbots, they are really pretty good. They will communicate with your clients, customers, hopefully to be clients, and they will have a hard time. It's not impossible, but they'll have a hard time not knowing they're not talking with a human. Um, I've been playing with some of these for quite a bit, trying to trip them up. And while you can, it's harder and harder every day. Um, so get in there, evaluate some really solid AI tools that are there inside your CRMs and make sure you're taking advantage. Of it. With the power of these AI, these systems even offer better predictive analytics. This means you can identify which leads are mostly are most likely to convert based on their behavior. It's like having a personal assistant who does all the heavy lifting when it comes to your client management. All right. Two, what we are going to talk about inside of here is we are going to talk about some tools that we have available in here. And the first one is one of my more favorite, most consistent today. Um, if you are doing any type of video creation, and you all should be doing video creation these days, if you are doing it all, you need to repurpose that content. So one of the best tools I think that's out there today is a tool called Opus Pro, opus.pro. This tool, I think, is really kind of the content king. And the reason why I think that is it's removing for me personally, a lot of the content headache, right? I don't have time, quote unquote, I could make it, but it's not my best dollar per hour to take things like this, my long form content and cutting it up to biteable, usable chunks in for YouTube shorts, TikTok. Reels and Instagram. I can do this. And not only can I do this, but I can schedule this now inside of Opus Pro to go out to all my social media platforms. So what kind of content can I take and put in here? Well, almost anything. You do a podcast, you do a video blog, kind of like this. You can put it in there and take it straight into that content. You could build your own videos from here. 
Okay, we're going to talk about ChatGPT in a little bit later because you can't get around not talking about ChatGPT. But you could write content, record it, and then just take it over, and it's going to break it up. It's also good if you're going to do a property tour or a webinar, right? One other thing that I kind of want you to think about with this is for us realtors in here, make sure you're using this as a value add to your clientele. So you add that long form, even if you do a short snippet, you can put it in here. It's going to give it a title. It's going to come out there and put the words underneath it, right? All the closed captioning type stuff in the, in the real colorful ways that we like to see these days, puts it in there and, and does a very solid job for you. Um, it also has added some more AI B roll, which is really kind of nice. So if you're trying to just take it off and not be the face of all of this, you can actually come out there and put that in place. It makes it really, really nice. Now, what I like about this is, is really instead of spending hours recreating new material, Opus Pro, I can download it right into there 15 minutes later while I'm doing something else. It's already gave me, if I take 15 minute clips, it's going to give me... 10 to 15 different biteable repurposed material that I can schedule out throughout the month. And it becomes really, really nice. So I just hope this is something useful for you. So next in here, one of my favorite tools ever is Canva. Now I'm going to tell you, I should have probably said this earlier, most of the tools I'm going to talk about, and I do typically like to make sure everything that I tell you is free or inexpensive, um, you're probably not going to pick all of these tools, to be honest with you, because every single one of these tools I am mentioning right now to get the full use out of them is going to cost you a fee. So look at it, evaluate it. I'm not going to talk about the pricing here. I mean, if you want, we can do this in the comments and I can tell you all that, but they're very solid tools. Now, speaking of which, the next one in here is Canva. And one of the things that I love about Canva is it's essentially your all-in-one marketing material. I can come in here and I can write that I want to create five social media posts and it will start doing it for me. It'll start making some AI assumptions. It will also start picking from automatic, automatic templates that are in place. And also with Canva, you have an amazing tool in place that will also let you schedule from here. Now, it's not automated. There are tools that are automated. We're not going to really talk about that today. Actually, I may do that as a bonus item because I do have one favorite that's there. But you have that in place. So in there, for the free version of Canva, you can create really good visuals. You can create a listing presentation, PowerPoint stuff. You can do market updates. You can make real quick social media posts, put eye-catching testimonials inside of Canva. These tools are extremely solid, but what's really neat about these, you create one of these tools. Remember we talked about before Opus Pro lets you repurpose. So will Canva. I could build one PowerPoint slide. I could repurpose it into a, resize it into Facebook posts, resize it into an Instagram post, right? I can do whatever it takes to repurpose that material to make that happen. There's also some really cool AI tools in here where you can make some AI video, you can create some AI images that are in place that will really help clear up and use that functionality best suited for AI design and marketing. So when you need your social media content to pop, I'm going to tell you Canva AI is a great solution for you because it will suggest layouts. It will just uh, colors and stuff like that, especially based on your branding. If you have identified that inside the tool. So use Canva, pay for it. If you deem necessary, you will get a lot more value for an extremely cheap cost. Now, what are my more, Favorite tools is an oldie, but kind of a goodie because it's rebranded itself a little bit. And I won't mean rebranding like they changed their moniker, but they've found interesting ways to use AI. And the tool is ManyChat. And if I come into ManyChat in here, it is a tool that will let you 
help you automate your lead generation. It's a good tool using some very neat AI powered chat box tools in place. So what you're seeing a lot of industry professionals do, even the realtors in the world that have paid attention to this, is they will tie their chat bot into like their Facebook Messenger platform or Instagram or other tools similar to that where if you type a keyword or they start messaging and they find that keyword in there, they're going to help you share that free giveaway item, right? That free book to download or the uh, schedule an appointment now for a free coaching session or a free buyer's appointment, right? Things like that can be done. And it will even, if you do pay for it, will help you nurture leads to make it easier for you to do it. What's nice about this, again, going back to your CRM, who already has built some of these AI in here, not all CRMs have, this can be that 24-7 AI chatbot that you can use that will help you keep the lead interaction going at all times. Remember, with internet lead generation specifically, the sooner you respond, the better your conversion is. This is a way to do it even while you're sleeping. It's quite literally like having a digital assistant that never sleeps. And then last, but most definitely not least, we can't go away from without talking about ChatGPT. And I still love ChatGPT. It keeps going through iteration. It keeps going through updates. This is quite literally the powerhouse. A lot of back engine tools are using ChatGPT AI to do their business. But why not just take it straight to the source, right? When you need help drafting emails or you need to analyze data to come up with that blog post content or that social media or those videos that we were talking about earlier, put that information inside of ChatGPT. Have it write your script. Have it write a listing description. Have it write your emails. Even better yet, use it as your partner in real estate and have it brainstorm marketing strategies for you. The nice thing about ChatGPT, if you teach it and grow it right, it will remember who you are, what you're doing, your goals. And when you start coming back and asking it questions, it's just going to continue that conversation for you. So this tool can literally be like having that non-affordable assistant that you now can afford. So please come in there, look at it for doing marketing, writing, task management. And again, it's 24-7. You need a quick response for an email? It's there. Do you need to uh, formalize a follow-up response? It's there. ChatGPT is a tool that you sh everyone should have in their business package today. It saves so much time. It helps you create so much more than you were ever able to do. I want you guys to take advantage of ChatGPT. So there you have it. You have five-ish AI tools, but wait one second. I handed that before. I didn't think I was going to do it, but I do want to do it right now because I am using it quite a bit. You create all this social media content. You create all this marketing material. What do you do with it? How do I put it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, blah, 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 whatever tools you're using? Well, there are a lot of tools out there. Canva has a scheduling system, things like that, but I got to manually do that. Well, I am starting to play with a tool called Social Bee. See if we can pull that up real quick. Social B is a tool where you can put all your social media in place. And it will help you create content ideas. It'll put information out there. And nice thing about social media, it's going to help you decide when to put the content out there. Also, it will keep recycling the material. So right off the bat, when you're doing things a little slow and they're not amazing for you, they're not doing great information because you don't have a lot. It will still repurpose it. And then when you continue to add and add and add, now you're going to have plethora of content that just cycles through on a continuous basis. 
there are other tools that are out there. I like Social Bee right now. Um, not to say that you won't like another one down in the future, but that's the one today that I like. So with that being said, I hope that was helpful for you. So those are the five tools that we have. Your CRM, if you have one, right? Told you a couple of examples of there. Opus Pro is a very solid tool. I do like Canva, ManyChat, and ChatGPT are very good tools. I think they're essential for any realtor looking to take the real estate business to the next level. If you haven't started using any of these tools yet, now's the time to jump in. Don't wait. Trust me, these AI solutions are more than just time savers. They're going to elevate your real estate business. Folks, if you have found this helpful, please sign up, subscribe, hit the bell so you can see when these next videos come out. Also, comment in here. Tell me a tool that you like that I didn't mention today. I'd love to hear what people are sharing and using today. I'd love to hear and see what I can do to help you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.